Hey guys, it's Melissa with Sunday Chats with Melissa and welcome to my channel. Happy Sunday. Happy 4,788th day in quarantine. <laughs> and welcome to my channel. How are you today? I hope that you are well. I hope that your family is well. I hope that you have found a groove in this new normal that we have and I hope that um, you are like me and you're very very excited for a return to whatever our new normal is. You know what I'm saying? Um, nothing is going to be the same. I mean it's not like we're going to bust out of this <laughs> and then just go back to, to doing life the way we were. That's just not going to happen and the virus is not going to be gone. It's, we're still going to have to take precautions. So we're just going to have to figure out, you know, how to be careful and how to weave that back into, into world. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a new normal, but Hey, it's what we have to do. So we have to do to like, keep it moving. <laughs> okay. So I do have some things that um, I'm going to talk about as far as like stuff that I've been loving. And mostly it's things that I already had because I haven't done the any shopping other than food. <laughs> and clearly I like food. <laughs> but um, I have done some cooking. I did a little short video yesterday um, where I pickled some onions um, and so with some red wine vinegar. So I had that up on my Instagram, which is Sunday Chats with Melissa. You can pop over there and give me a follow. Um, in case you missed last week's update, I'm not going to post anything on YouTube except my Sunday chats, and that's going to be, of course, on Sundays. And then the other tutorials that I put up um, are going to be on IGTV over on Instagram. So if you're interested in following that and enjoy that content, um, they're going to be shorter, more concise, and um, they're going to have to do with a lot more than just um, beauty. They're going to have a, to do with wellness and life and um, getting through it. <laughs> so, okay. So before uh, we get started, let me tell you what I did today because I actually did my whole face today. I can't remember the last time I did my whole face. I can't. <laughs> but I just put on some foundation. I put on my Maybelline bronzer. I put on my um, Urban Decay Cherry um, blush with the highlighter that came in the kit. I used my Stila. Um, I don't know if, no, let's see. No, it's not going to work. I used my Stila, um, Diamond Duo. Hold on, let me cut on another light here. Oh, I'm sitting in the dark. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Da, 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 da. There. That's a little bit better. All right, so at least I can see. Um, and it's called Diamond Duo. It's their sparkly um, eyeshadow that I love. It can, I got a they. You could buy them separate, and I bought the Kitten Karma one full size. But they had um, a set at some point, I think at Christmas, where there was three smaller ones, and I bought those, and I love them. So I just laid them down on my lid. And then I used my Lemonade Craze that I talked about, I think, last Sunday. I used this Sweet Tea out of there as my crease color. And then I picked up Sherbert and put that as a highlighter. And then I used Main Squeeze, which has a little bit of shimmer, and just laid that down um, in the corner of my eye. So that is all I did. And my lipstick is... Um, Milani number 68... Um, it says matte iconic and what I did was I laid that on my bottom lip and then buffed it in and then used what was left over on my top lip so it's not so messy you know that's the thing with red lipsticks is they can be so messy um, of course I lined my rim used my superhero mascara and uh, topped it with my boots number seven and that's it that's it. That's all I did. <laughs> so I'm set to make a bunch of videos and some TikTok videos because I mean, if you got all the trouble to get all this dressed up, you need to make use of it. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, I asked yesterday 
on all my social media platforms. Um, since we're one day closer, we're one day closer to escaping all of this. Now, what the new normal is, no one knows. But we're one day closer to getting back out and finding out exactly what our new normal is. Um, so I asked on all my social media yesterday three things. Um, what have you been cooking for comfort food? What do you want to do first when the quarantine is lifted? And have you done anything differently in quarantine that you didn't do before? And I had some great, great responses. And it's so interesting to look at this through other people's eyes and to kind of get a sense of how other people are dealing with it. You know, because everybody keeps saying, we're in this together, we're in this together. Yes, yes, we're all quarantined together. Well, some of us, because some people do what they want and they're not quarantined. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, we're 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 all living this separately we're all fighting our own demons we're all dealing with whether we're living with people or not living with people or whatever you know what i mean look we're in this together but we're also in this by ourselves <laughs> and so okay so my friend Catherine says that she's been eating peanut butter and raisins on graham crackers she says sounds crazy but try it yeah that's what she's been doing i have not tried it i have not tried it um, my friend Cindy from uh, my, my high school and from my childhood, um, she says her comfort food is um, hillbilly casserole, um, hamburger, sausage, potatoes, and pepper jack. Yum. What's not to like about any of that? Um, she's looking forward to getting her hair done. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and um, she doesn't do anything different than she did prior to, except she has an occasional nap. <laughs> my friend Carla... Oh my gosh, we went to we went to church together. We worked in the same school district. Um, her family kind of took me in when my mom passed away, and um, we did all holidays and all celebrations with her and her gigantic family, um, who were all precious. And um, uh, Gabby was the flower girl for her daughter's wedding when when she was like knee high to a grasshopper, and so. We've gone through a lot together. Um, Carla has since retired. Um, she subs sometimes at the school that I was in before, but um, she says fresh baked bread. She's a, uh, I know. Um, she wants to travel. Um, her son lives out of the country, um, and she loves to go over and visit him. Um, and she says she's been making masks. She has made and donated 120 of them. So, um, and then she said her next um, thing was leopard milk bread. Look that up. It is beautiful, A. Eh? And Carla is all about everything animal print. So this is like so up her alley, but it looks delicious. I don't know if you can see the picture of that. Oh, anyway, look it up. Leopard milk bread. Delicious. Um, this was actually on Pinterest. She found that on Pinterest, so you can look that up there. Okay, um, let's see. My friend Teresa, that um, we craft together and stamp together, and we also work together for a short time in the same school building right across the hall from each other. Um, she said she's also been making homemade bread. Listen, if I start making homemade bread, I'm not going to fit my leggings. Never mind the jeans. And I heard somebody say something so funny today. They were like, jeans are now called hard pants. <laughs> indeed i wouldn't dare put a pair of those on right now don't do it do not do that don't do it just get your leggings on your soft pants keep it moving no zippers no buttons nothing just keep it moving you worry about that stuff later <laughs> she said homemade bread and ice cream she says she really wants to travel and buy a home in new england we are both red sox fans and we went to a red sox game together uh, we watched them play um the orioles uh, Baltimore. Yeah. Orioles. Yes. Um, the Brickyard? Is that what it's called? Is that an NASCAR thing? The Brickyard. Some about bricks. Anyway, we went and saw a Red Sox game together and um, I said, oh, really next to Fenway? And she said, ah, I probably couldn't afford that. But um, and she said she hasn't done anything different, just gardening more. And um, she said that helps keep her sane. Uh, so uh, my friend Rhonda, 
who was my son's fifth grade teacher and um, in the school district that he was in. And to say that she is a godsend to the world would be the biggest understatement ever. She has the most beautiful spirit, soul, and heart. And I, for one, am privileged to have known her for my son to have had her. And what's really nice about my kids growing up in a small school district is I'm friends with the majority of their teachers and my, and they still ask about my kids. You know what I mean? Um, it's just beautiful. But she says she misses hugs. Yes. Yes. Indeed. And I told her when I got out of this, I was going to kiss everybody right on the lips. I didn't care if I knew them or not when I got out of here. With my mask on, of course, but <laughs> uh, my friend Trish who I worked with in my old school district who uh, just we just have the same sense of humor and uh, we just we just laugh a lot we laugh a lot um, she says mac and cheese um, she wants to gather and she wants to hug people and um, I think probably I, I think all of us could could agree with wanting to just be in other people's presence I think we could all agree with that. Um, uh, my friend Sandy, who was also my son's um, second grade teacher, and um, she subbed at the school that I worked um, at before I came to Norfolk, and she was a long-term sub there, and we worked across the hall from each other, so it was always nice um, to be with her. But she said comfort food will always be fried potatoes, um, but it's carbs, so I don't do it too much. She wants to hug her grandbabies, and she said she's made friends with cleaning. Um, I told her friends with cleaning no ma'am we are still uh casual acquaintances <laughs> that's what we are casual acquaintances we're not friends no ma'am no <laughs> my friend lisa who uh we share the same birthday um a few years apart and what's funny her mom graduated from the same high school that i did so we also ha had that connection um, she said her favorite comfort food is nacho cheese Doritos and smoked oysters. Um, she looks so forward to going to the Outer Banks to sit on the shore and watch the horses play. She loves to go and watch it. Is it, is it Chicatigue where you go and watch the horses? She does that every year. And I love waiting for her to post those pictures of her and her husband Kevin going and watching those. It is beautiful. I've never done that. I would like to do that myself. Um... She said she started breaking sourdough bread because she has time. And I said, if I started getting the habit of baking bread, I won't fit my, my pants. And she said, well, I give a lot of it away. And I said, well, clearly you have not met me because I don't have that type of willpower. <laughs> my friend Meredith, who I worked with um, at my previous school district, um, and we ate lunch together every day for the past, oh, six years, seven years, every day. And laughed our fool heads off. Um, she says she's done kale and potato soup. She's done chicken chili, 15 bean, a chicken noodle. She said her family loves it. She's made potato skins a couple of times. She spent a lot of time in the kitchen. And she's looking forward to seeing friends again. I think that really has been a common thread through all the social media. Um, my friend Jennifer is actually my friend. She's my cousin. She's my mom's brother's daughter. Um... And she says, no comfort food right now because of answer number three, which she started something akin to a Whole30. Um, and she said for her hair, for the hair and nail salons to open back up, she said her husband Gerald's beard is looking gnarly. And um, she doesn't dare uh, cut it because he's on medications that, um, would, um, that causes him to bleed easily. So um, she's uh, lost, um, what did she say? She said... Um, 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 um. She lost four pounds and her daughter um, has lost six doing that. So um, Whole30 is great. Um, it's a great kick start for your system to just get you feeling better. So I, I'm a big fan of that. Um, my friend Kelly, who I met through some other friends at my old school, she says she looks forward to traveling. Um, she started a garden for the first time in five years. She's completed lots of projects painting and she baked and cooked more um, than she has most of her life um, she cooks and bakes all the time and she also exercises every morning because she posts a picture of it just to make us all feel bad <laughs> but she's a great cook and a great bartender and she's just a load of fun so um, she says she's experimenting with food and practicing for a food network trial one day which she would be awesome for she has a 
great personality. She's great with food. She's just she's just an all-around foodie, and um, I think she would be great for that. Uh, my friend Sarah, who I worked with, old school district. She says sweets. She's been baking like crazy. She has perfected bread and cinnamon rolls. She said she wants to sit in a restaurant. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Not just pick it up. We picked up food several times just this week. And it's just bringing it home, you know, just even if you don't, if you don't want to sit in your car, I don't want to sit in my car and eat. You know, first of all, I don't get my car messy. <laughs> Second of all, I just don't find that enjoyable. And so by the time, even if we just did something really close, by the time we got home, it wasn't fresh like it would be just out of the kitchen and you're enjoying it. So yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, so are we. Um, slowing down. She says she always wants to be busy. I always want to be busy and I've been forced to not be. She's kind of getting used to it and not sure she wants to go back to being busy again. Yes, I agree with that wholeheartedly. And whatever busyness is, whatever busyness is for you, yes. Um, okay, so over on Instagram, my friends over on Instagram, they um, had quite a bit to say as well. Let's see. Um, my friend Tony said spaghetti... He wants to see the beautiful smile of his friends, and he's cooking more at home. Um, my friend Candace, who I talk about all the time on here, we um, we met at a craft store. No, we met at a craft event that I was teaching at the local library where I where I used to live. Um, and then we sat our whole lives on the baseball field talking. <laughs> the next probably seven years, eight years sitting there. Um, but she says. Um, I can't say I've made anything as comfort food, but I'm craving cupcakes. Um, I can't wait to hug everyone and get a pedicure. And um, she said, thanks to you, she's now binging on TikTok. You're welcome. You haven't been on TikTok. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, my friend Kelly, her comfort food. Listen, Kelly and I, uh, Kelly was my very first friend when I moved to Gloucester County my very first friend and um we met did we meet a book club kelly i think so in the book club that we started um which is still going strong but um it was in a little tiny library it was just a handful of us but um then kelly and i worked in the same school district and um my son babysat her children and then we just became like family like we just did everything together our um our my ex-husband her husband worked together at the shipyard and um, we laugh. We laugh so much. Kelly has the best sense of humor. And when I need a good laugh, I text Kelly because I can just hear her talking via the text and it makes my face ache. Um, and she's an amazing cook and amazing hostess. If you ever go to her house for a shindig, I don't care what, I don't care if it's a barbecue. I don't care what it is. She is going to have everything laid out. Perfect. I mean, flowers, beautiful flatware, beautiful china, the whole nine. Kelly is going to have it set. You're going to be set. And uh, so she says her comfort food is spinach, pear, bacon, gorgonzola salad. Of course it is. <laughs> Where are you even getting gorgonzola right now? <laughs> she says she's done lots of home improvements, painting, closet reconfigurations. Um, I've done that before, but it's all I've got. <laughs> And she redid her kitchen, um, and it's gorgeous. Her kitchen is gorgeous. Her house is beautiful, but I know she's been redoing things all along. She was recovering um, furniture back a while um, back, and then she started sewing her own, like, linen pants and tank tops, and so she's just amazing. But, um, okay, and then, let's see, I think, I don't know that I got anything on TikTok. Let me just see. I'll have to turn this down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let me see, let me see. No, I did not get anything over on TikTok. But isn't it interesting how we're all kind of in this together? And we're all doing sort of the same things. You know, we're finding some comfort in food. We're finding some comfort in some things that we used to do or that we wished we had time to do. Um, many of us have been forced to slow down. We have been forced to not be busy. And I'm going to tell you what, for personally, for personally, personally, my attention span is so short 
that I would love to be able to sit down and read. I bought like five books that I wanted to read. Never mind the ones that I have on Audible to listen to. And I have this yarn that's sitting next to my chair that I want to knit with. And my attention span is so short that I can't even like, listen, I went to the laundry room to get a bag to put some things in that I was going to move out of the studio. I went there. I was like, oh, the laundry's finished. Let me put the laundry in. And I was like, oh, look, I need to wash the dog's beds. I need to do that. And then I did that. And 15 minutes later, I came back to my studio. I was like, oh, yeah, I was setting up for the, <laughs> for the Sunday chat. I was like, oh, and I also went to get a bag to put this stuff that's on the floor in it. So I haven't been able to like sit still and read. I would love to. And I'm going to try. It's really warm here today, and we're going to get some really cool weather um, for the rest of the week. So I'm going to try to get outside. My friend Denise texted and said she was, like, sweating outside. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Just be in here. I'll be in here. If there's sweating happening out there, I'll walk later. I'm not, I'm not going to walk and sweat to death. That's no good. It's no good. I just wash my hair. Just wash my hair fixed up. <laughs> if I go out with this hair and sweat... Underneath and the back is nappy. No, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'll go when it's cool tonight. So thank you to everyone who posted, who shared, um, who made me smile and laugh yesterday. I certainly, certainly appreciate it. So, okay, some things that I have been loving. All right. I was going to put all this stuff in my, in my lap, but I don't think I can. So as I have been doing some cooking and stuff like that and cleaning out my cupboards, because um, my son's getting a new apartment and um, I was just going through the cupboards to see if there was just, I mean, I just have a lot of things I don't need. How many coffee cups do you need when you live by yourself? Five? Seven? I probably have 30. <laughs> no need for it. I don't, I don't have that many. I don't think. Anyway, um, what I did have was I have a lot of platters because I love to, I, when I, when I entertain, I love to make every detail important. Like I want my flatware to match. I want my cloth napkins to match. I want everything to have a theme. And so I have a lot of platters. I have a lot of bowls. I have a lot of, I have a whole basket of like themed napkins and um anyway I, I love to do that but what I also love to do is I love to pick up like platters and bowls and especially platters and like cake plates I love to pick those up when I go thrifting because I like to bake and I think that baking is a beautiful gift I feel like that baking is love made edible and so if I bake something for you I like you a lot <laughs> And so when I go to the thrift store, I'm always looking for platters that I can just bake something on and give to the person and not expect it back. You know what I'm saying? Like, make that part of the gift. This actually came from the thrift store. It's made in Italy. Um, it's beautiful and it is food proof. You just want to make sure that it's food safe. You know what I mean? When you get it to give somebody. But you can also do a million other things with this. Like um, at one time I had this sitting on my makeup table with my perfume and stuff like that on it. Um, you can also paint on these and um, you can bake it. You know, there's um, there's um, specific paint to bake with that you that will, you know, sink in. Um, I think it might not make it food proof, but, you know, if you just want to do it as a as a gift. So just kind of go through your cabinets and find things and maybe use them for things that they were not intended to be used for. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so the other thing, and I meant to look this up before I got on and then, you know me, I got sidetracked. But this is called The Body Gym. And Marie Osmond, it was on QVC several years back. I want to say like five or six years back. Uh, Marie's, Marie um, Osmond was on there saying that she was bored and she was watching TV and she saw something akin to this and she was told her husband, I could, I could make that. We should buy that company. And um, he did. He bought it for her. Uh, but it is great. So it has these um, stretchy like thingies here. And then on the bottom, it has this piece. So with this, you can do, um, 
oops, let me turn it this way. You can do bicep curls, uh, upright rows, um, the serving tray, a shoulder press, a tricep extension, a chest press, a wide row, a core twist, and a narrow row. And then on the other side um, is stuff that you can do standing. So I have cracked this back out and been using it. Um, I usually do like three reps of 10 or something like that. And I try to go across like the whole thing, but it's really, really nice. So it's called the body gym. Yeah. So there's an upper body and a lower body one that you can use just with this. So that's been nice. Um, and then, um, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I changed my studio around and I did a video that I'm going to post this week. Um, about the studio and the changes that I made and why I made the changes. Um, but I was moving furniture around. I was moving closing, clothing racks around. <laughs> I was doing a lot of manual labor and being, and being getting very sweaty, <laughs> which I don't like. <coughs> but I did something to this shoulder. <laughs> I don't know what. But I have this kit um, from doTERRA. It's called the Athletes Kit. And it comes in this little pack here. And this deep blue, if you've never used deep blue for muscle pains and muscle aches, it's by doTERRA. Please go on doTERRA.com and find yourself a consultant or find yourself some or just buy it right off the website. It is amazing. But this set also comes with Breathe, which, of course, is great for... Um, this allergy season on guard a lot of people use on guard uh, when they feel a cold coming on um malaleuca which of course is tea tree oil which is a great antiseptic um lavender which is calming and a great um oil to diffuse and then it comes with peppermint which is great for headaches if you put that on the back of your neck or on your temples just be careful not to get it too close to your eyes um, and then it comes with the full size of the deep blue so i have used this <laughs> For all my hard work <laughs> for all my hard work <laughs> okay i also got an anastasia beverly hills palette and i don't know if i told you guys about this but it is gorgeous and i bought it from qvc a while back it really kind of has darker colors so i'm not so much using it right now but i look forward to using this uh, when i go back to work and just kind of kind of falling back into my groove um this is called and i hope i'm saying this correct Jackie Ina, 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 <laughs> but it's beautiful. Look how beautiful the packaging is and the mirror on here is really pretty. I'm going to try not to blind you, but there's like the little mirror, but I, I love this little set. I haven't used it at all. Oh, I just dropped something out of it. I think it was the brush, um, but I love that. And my friend Candace said she has it and she just used it the other day and she absolutely loved it. So I'm excited about that. That was my one little palette that I brought. Um, also with doTERRA, they have this called, um, it's called Correctex. Um, and it is, I use it as like a Neosporin type thing. It's an ointment and it's called an essential ointment and it is wonderful. It's great if you have a blister or a cut. I use this when I have tattoos after the first couple of days after like three days of using like the um the neospore i mean the aquaphor um i use this and i feel like it really helps in the healing of it i've used it i don't know if it will work on everyone but it has um it has worked for me um also i have these i have a little cart where i have all of my styling tools like my hot rollers and my wave curler and my flat irons and my hair dryer and all of that jazz and I have several of these in different sizes and they're really great for protecting your table so if you have like um if you have a dressing table that's made of wood or really if it's made of anything um and my flat iron doesn't have like a little kickstand or <laughs> whatever you call it um these are great and I have them just laid right um on the bottom part of my um stand that's made of wood um, and I use that, um, to protect that. So they're really cool. And they come in all sizes. I think you just had to put like a heat heating pad, curl and iron heating pad or something else. Okay. This here thing has been the bane of my existence since I received it. 
So I want to do some crafting classes, beading, just uh, just different things. I just want to do different things for the channel, not just beauty. And I've wanted to do that from the beginning. But my video setup doesn't allow me to be able to film down. Like my, I don't have anything to hold my camera so that I could film down onto a table. So I bought um, a, a webcam along with everybody else in the whole world. So it finally came, but it doesn't come with any software. So if anybody can help a girl out, my son told me to download OBS Studio. I tried that. I tried to get it to record the camera. I couldn't. I don't know. Um, it's not a Logitech or Logitech or whatever it's called. It's, um, I don't know. I'll have to get the, the box back out. But anyway, in order for me to do some classes, I've got to figure out a way to record with this. Um, and I have not been successful. So if anybody can help a sister out, I'd appreciate it. Comment below, please. All right. And then um, the last thing I wanted to talk about um, before we go, because I think we are almost, 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 almost at our 30 minutes, is this little eye roller. And this is from Eco Tools, And it has this like cold, like glass round thing and my eyes are so swollen I don't know if you can see it they are so swollen from the pollen and the allergies and even though I take allergy medicine every day and use flow days and the whole nine you can hear I'm a little nasally still my nose is always running but I use this in the morning when I wake up and I just very gently go where it is so swollen and I just try to like disperse it a little bit um, I also use this to put on my eye cream. Um, it feels really good for one thing. And, um, and I feel like it's kind of helpful because, you know, just it's where it's where all the allergy stuff just sits down and acts like it belongs there. You don't belong there, sir. You got to go. <laughs> you do not belong there, sir. Okay. I actually almost made it through the whole thing with that. How to wipe my nose. This is big, big fancy time. So okay guys well it was so good hanging out with you and talking to you this morning so let me just um let me just give you my word for the week and um i will let you get about your sunday or whatever day you're watching this so um all right let's see um So every time this, every time I was moving something around or cleaning something out or doing something, I'm always trying to figure out, is there a way I can do this better for the environment, um, with less work and wasting less resources. So like for my dog pads, um, um, I was using the paper ones. A, a was expensive. Um, B, I was having to put all of that in the compost. And, and so I bought all cloth pads. They've taken to them very nicely. It's really not that big of a deal. I just keep them in a specific place until I'm ready to wash them, which is like every third day or whatever. And I just put everything else in there. When I clean up the floor back there, just in case anything, like if they went on the edge of the, the pad or whatever, um, I have extra Bona mop things where I clean that up and I put them all in the same thing um also i've been using um oh, what have i been using like a swiffer like I, I used to use the swiffer wet things and so when i got done with all the pads there was still a ton of um liquid left over so i poured that into a spray bottle and continued to spray that and use my bone mops but what i found is it leaves this weird film on my floors if anybody knows how to get that up please help a sister out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. So anyway, as I was doing those things, I was like, oh, I, I think I really would, this would help if I had like a little silicone thing under, under their pads. So just in case it got on the edge, it would be on the little silicone thing and I could just wipe it up or whatever. And I don't have to keep, you know, using the spray and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I was like, oh, and so I went on Amazon, put two in my cart and then I was like, oh, you know what? That's kind of similar to, it's kind of similar to a top to a Rubbermaid crate. So 
I had tops to Rubbermaid crates and I put them under their pads. Done. <laughs> and for some reason, my ring doorbell, the front one wasn't working, kept getting offline. And I was like, I don't, I don't understand why. And I said, I wonder if I need like another connector, whatever. I don't know what they're called. Prime Chime Pros, whatever. I was like, well, let me go on Amazon. So I went on Amazon, put one in the cart. And then when I was looking for an extension cord in my back room, I was like, what is in this ring box? It was a Chime Pro. Like, because I have one for each door. I don't know. Why did I not have that up? Anyway, the moral of all of that, all of that to be said, um, this quote is from Unknown, and it's from Peaceful Mind, Peaceful Life. And it says, life is not about having the best of everything. It's about making the best of everything you've got. And I would venture to say, if you looked around your house, and for those of us who are busy all the time and just bought things and just kept it moving and did what we needed to do, I would venture to say you probably have everything you need to make do whatever it is you need to make do. And so I would say to you this week, let's make do with what we have. Let's not buy anything that we don't need. Let's uh, let's look around our house and find the things that we already have. Remember when you bought all those things and you thought, oh, I'm just going to love this. And, you know, if you were really hoping for something and saving for something, you bought it. And now you're like, I don't even, I don't even look at that anymore. Sad. And I wanted to end this. I know I'm going a little bit over the 30 minutes and I didn't want to talk about this earlier in the podcast, not a podcast, <laughs> in the video because I didn't want to be weepy. But um, I graduated in 1985 and I can't tell you how many friends, friends, not just people in my class, but friends that I've attended their funerals. And my little group of friends and I that still run together from school. Our little group on Facebook. Our little chat, nine times out of ten. If we're not making plans to get together, we're talking about somebody who's passed away. And somebody else passed away this week. And um, she was a cheerleader and we cheered together. And so this entire week, her, the people that are going to her Facebook page and posting that they will miss her and how much they loved her and how much how much joy she brought to their life and that people that she gave chances to that didn't have it and how she was always available for a hug and a laugh and she was just the light of the room when she walked in and I I got to thinking about it and I thought to myself I wonder if she knew that I wonder if she knew that. I wonder if she knew how much people loved her. And I wonder if she knew how many people appreciated her existence on this earth. This is why I didn't want to do it earlier. And so, what I say to you for this week is this. If there is somebody that you think is amazing, if there is somebody who has given you a chance when you deserved it or needed it, if there is somebody who has changed your life exponentially, if there was someone in your life who has made it better just because they exist, let them know this week. Let them know. Because we have no idea we, we won't see them again. She was just on Facebook on Saturday putting some, some recipes that she had made. She had just moved into a new apartment. Saturday, Monday, Sunday night into Monday. Gone. So, sorry. <laughs> Let us do that this week. Let us go about our week treating the people that we love the most 
or maybe if we don't love them the most, but they've done something to make our life better, let us go through this week letting them know. Text, Facebook Messenger, Facebook post, telephone call, FaceTime, house party, whatever it is. Let's let those people know before we don't have the chance to tell them again. Okay? Okay, sorry. I hope you guys have a great week. I hope that it is spent loving on people, enjoying what you have, and just being happy. Okay? All right. Until we see each other again, and until we chat again. Love you.